everyone, welcome back to another episode. So I'm gonna get into that aft cabin again. I want that bed frame all welded up. And if I've got a bit more time, I'm gonna get into doing the flooring in there. There's um, a little step that has to happen next to the bed. So I'm gonna do that and it's really cold, so I'm gonna get stuck into working. So I've got this whole bed frame all welded up. So the, yeah, it's just framed out. I've popped one up by the head so that you don't get any flexing when you're laying down. Uh, one a little bit, not quite in the middle, it's a little bit further that way because this is mainly storage and it'll be better just to have a, a little bit bigger area. And that's basically where the hip is gonna be. So that's where the most weight is gonna be put. So they're all welded in, I've welded in all the corners. Uh, so I've just got to grind those welds back nice and flush. Then the next job in this aft cabin will be to put some flooring across here. So there's going to be a little step that comes up and then it's going to be nice and flat going across there. So yeah, that'll be all covered with a floor up until probably that web. So yeah, that's my next job. managed to uh, tack weld all this little step flooring in by the, next to the bed here and I've got a little piece up there for the front of the floorboard got a piece going across here and there'll be yeah, another plank going in there it's too much of a spance to go without a one in the middle so I'm gonna have to put another one in the middle I yeah just tack welded it all in place I notched out this piece of metal here so that it could be nice and flush on the outside and I can get more weld in and it's going to brace that side of the bed frame up. So once I've put that piece in the middle, replicate that on the other side and we're all done on this floor section.
right, so I think I've finished the majority of the work in this aft cabin. We've got flooring on both sides now. I welded in a couple of braces so that when we put the boards on the outside, we've got a nice brace in the middle. I can drill a couple of holes in this and screw from the inside of the bed frame to the wooden uh, surround that's going to be covering that bed frame. So 30 mil ply will go on top and we'll have gas lift to lift that bed frame up. Very nice, so I'm gonna do a bit of a clean up in here because we've got grinding dust everywhere and uh, I'm gonna clean the welds up too with a bit of a flapper disc. So make this uh, room look all pretty again. That's it, the bed and the flooring is all done. We just uh, put a flapper disc on all these corners and welds just to clean them up. Because if the board's gonna sit on here, we don't want any lumpy welds on there. But yeah, very nice. Just thought I'd clean it all up, get a perspective on the size of the room. So we'll have a mattress on top of there, some floorboards and line this with some wood. Very nice. All right, so I've got that bed frame all welded up. I'm really happy on how that turned out. Um, I also did those little uh, walkways either side of the bed. Um, so that's just gonna make it easier. So you're not climbing over someone. Um, you can just sort of slide to the side and just walk on out. So that I'm happy with that. And it, it's really impressive just to see stuff starting to go into the boat. Um, even if it is just a skeletal frame of a bed, um, it just shows that there is progress happening now. It's not just um, yeah, getting rid of corrosion and, and welding up bulkheads and rust and stuff. So yeah, it's really exciting to see the, sort of the next phase is starting to happen. Um, yeah, so yeah, please on the progress. Uh, next week I wanna try and um, yeah, finish all the welding in the aft cabin there. So I've got um, those combings that I put in place um, with the hatches that open up. Um, I've in installed them, I've welded them completely on the top, however underneath is not welded. Uh, I'm really not good at overhead welding, so I'm going to really give it a bit of a better crack this time. Um, I've never been good at overhead welding, so wish me luck with that. Uh, and hopefully next week we get the, um, the hoses in place, so the bilge pump has to be finished off. Um, I've got some plans on how that's going to happen. Um, I've read all the comments that people have suggested, so I'm going to try and implement um, uh, yeah, the best case scenario for the bilge pump. So yeah, we've got that to look forward to next week. So um, stay tuned, let us know what you guys think, and um, yeah, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And uh, if I'm doing anything wrong, feel free to let me know, because um, yeah, uh, I've picked up a lot of good hints from a lot of people in this industry, so uh, yeah. Feel free to uh, pull me out if I'm doing anything wrong. So, yeah, see uh, how we go next week. Thanks, guys.